The girl spits on the man. The man slaps her back in anger. Unwillingly, the man lifts up the girl's blouse. He hides his bad intentions and smiles. Even though the girl resisted, the pervert presses a hot cigarette butt on the girl's belly. The miserable screams scared her sister outside. The two sisters were imprisoned by the traffickers in the container. Chained hand and foot, they are used as tools for profit. A steady stream of customers come to enjoy the finest pleasures for as little as $10. Three days ago, the sisters were beautiful women. The first time they met, their online friend suggested a camping trip in the countryside. The unsuspecting girls are instantly attracted to him, and soon their defenses are down. When they arrive at the man's rustic cabin, the girls are blinded by the kindness of their old mother. The warmth of the old man hands them a delicious cake. The girl, who loves to eat, quickly begins to eat. After seven seconds, the girl's eyes begin to wander. Even though they tried to escape, they were carried back by the man. When the sisters came to their senses, they were stripped naked and chained to the container. In the middle of nowhere, they screamed at the top of their lungs. At that moment, the perverted trafficker approached them. He prepared the sisters with cleaning materials and told them to do what they were told in order to stay alive. The man raises a gun and forces the girls to shower in front of him. Suddenly, a policeman appears in front of them and the sisters hide behind him, thinking they are saved. But they're in cahoots with the police. Trafficking girls is their job. It turns out that this cop, John, is one of their regulars. After only half a minute, John walked out of the police station. Only the girl was left crying in grief. Then Jack came back to the business. But this time, the sister couldn't escape her fate. The girl was forced to have sex by a man. The pervert burned the girl's belly with a cigarette. Then the girl was taken over by him. Outside, the sister covers her ears at the sound of the screams. And what follows is a horrific experience. The human skin tray is in full swing in the middle of nowhere. Men like to wear pig masks to have sex with women. This perversion scared the sister. He became interested in her. The smell of her body fascinated him. The poor sister was pushed into the container and the young girl was killed and became a tool for the traffickers to earn money. A minute passes and the pervert puts a pig's head mask on the sister's head. Even the sister's comforting words couldn't mend her broken heart. After a few days of not seeing the sisters, the family rushed to the police station to report the case. But this move made the sister's situation even more dangerous. The traffickers' boss decided to kill them. The younger sister overheard the whole thing, so they decided to escape from this hell. The next day, Jack came back to the business. The trafficker took the money and left. It's time to kill him. The show is about to begin. Seeing his sister's charming flirtation, Jack was instantly mesmerized by her. The sister tore his neck. The two sisters got the key, unlocked the handcuffs, and grabbed the police officer's car at the same time. On their way out, they saw two young girls who were just as innocent as they were kind. They don't want to see them victimized again. The sisters' revenge is about to begin. They went to the hardware store and picked out a nice selection of weapons. They wanted to make these villains pay for their crimes. They found out the address from the owner of the store. Their first target was the owner of the store, but he was in for a rude awakening. The vengeful girl had been waiting for him for a long time. Just as he turns around, a steel spike catch out tennis ball hits the man in the face. And that's just the beginning of the game. Then the girls attack the man one after another. When the boss comes to his senses, he finds himself tied to the table. The sisters are ready to torture him. Even though the man is begging for it, he has to get it back, and it's about to get ugly. The girls threw tennis balls at the men's faces and kept on attacking them. The girls decided that wasn't enough. Then the sisters aimed a bow and arrow at the man's anus and shot at him. The boss of the traffickers got what he deserved. Then it was time for the peak-headed masked man. This monster of a man was a priest. Soon, the sister made her debut. The pig-masked man emphasized that he was a saint. The calm sister said that justice will come. The sister instantly takes him down with a baseball bat. Then the man is chained to the back of the car. The girl drags him around the town and shows him off. The man paid the ultimate price. The girl gave him a bath in gasoline, and then a fire burned the pig-headed man to ashes. The constable was next, and he plotted against the young girls. The sister struck the villain with a blow to the head. Then he was tied up and started to guess the bullets. But this guy was so lucky that his first six bullets were all blanks. The man was so scared by the girl that he wet his pants. But the girl, who's a tough cookie, shoots him anyway. Now all that's left is the evil old lady. The sisters returned the favor with the same drug. She soon fell unconscious. When she came to, she was tied to a stool. While her oldest son was suspended from the beams on his knees. 
The sisters then smashed the man to pieces with a baseball bat. The old woman's mind was tortured. She was again pushed in front of her youngest son. The girl first untied the rope and threw a baseball bat to him. The only way to save her life was to swing at her own mother. The man retained some of his humanity. The girl sent him to hell with one shot. Despite the old woman's repentance and pleas for forgiveness, the girl removes a skirt from the world. This is the 2015 French thriller Even Land Septies. A pair of sisters are lured to the countryside by an online friend and turned into money-making tools for their traffickers. The sisters take the opportunity to escape and then take revenge on the traffickers. The bad guys are finally punished by them. No more innocent girls will be victimized by them. This story shows us how scary girls can be. Please be kind to the girls around you. I'm Zero Sense Film. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.